Up to this point, we've been doing everything static. We've been loading all of our IP addresses static on our network as we built it out. And actually, that, as you see, that can start to get pretty clumsy. Uh, so now we're going to uh, change from static IP addressing to uh, dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP. So we're going to use the DHCP server that's built into our routers to actually now assign uh, dynamically IP addresses to our network. Uh, here again, for brevity's sake, I'm only going to do this on, on the first floor router. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into this router and we are going to, uh, let's see, this is where we were before, so let's exit out of this get us back so what we're going to do at this point now we're going to build uh dhcp pools okay dhcp pools now to do this here again it helps to have your network diagrams uh and your network tables all laid out in front of you because it makes it so much easier the first pool that you always build is my pool and then after that you start building my pool two my pool three it just depends on how many dhcp pools you want to build for this um course we're only going to build two DHCP pools one for uh, our delivery section and one for the, 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 the kitchen that it will automatically assign IP addresses okay so to, to do this we go into um, the configuration mode and very simple I just type IP DHCP pool and the first one is my pool okay there you see that takes us into a DHCP configuration um, window. Now all we're going to do is put network. This is the network with the network that we're building the DHCP pool for 192.168.10, and it's going. To, and here again, this is where we're using the subnet ID. Okay, subnet ID. Now I'm building this for the dot zero for the dot zero um, network domain. So that which will be in, in the subnet mass 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
And we're going to change these. You know, up to this point, everything was static. We're going to change it to DHCP. And look what happened. Boom. Instantly, it pulled an IP address, 192.168.10.66. It gave it, it found its own, the subnet mask, and the default gateway is .65. So that delivery computer automatically uh, pulled an IP address. We'll do the same thing with the, with the, the printer. Um, go to DHCP. And as you see, it automatically pulled the next uh, IP address. This is very similar thing with uh, the rest of the PCs. Once we go to static, I mean, from static to DHCP, the DHCP server in the router assigns an IP address. We'll do this for all of these uh, systems on the network. Let's see if this side works. Sure does. 192.168.10.2. There's the subnet mask and default gateway. And we'll set up the printer as well while we're here. Get everything DHCP, a DHCP pulled address. Uh, that gave it dot three. Yep. And the last one, the rest of the, the, uh, the PCs in the kitchen. And there it goes. All right. So as you see, now all the devices, they've got IP addresses but they were assigned dynamically. So if I connected up another computer, another PC here, it would go through the switch and automatically pull the next IP address out of the DHCP pool. All right, that's how we set up DHCP. I'm only gonna do it for this one router, for first floor router. You would configure the rest of these the exact same.